Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Health continues to undermine public confidence in the Alberta health system. He refuses to acknowledge any shortcomings or failures, yet his performance on doctors' negotiations, drug prices, excessive expenses, facility closures, wait lists, and executive bonuses is terrible. And then there is the reluctance to get to the bottom of queue jumping. The Leahy Mayo Clinic example is the smoking gun. Will the Premier agree to ask the Bertie's inquiry to reopen and re-examine this matter. Where's the Premier? Honourable uh, Minister, where's the Premier? very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I have uh, some news to share with the House today, and I will table the, the relevant document at the appropriate time. Uh, just uh, prior to question period today, I received a letter from Ms. Sheila Weatherill, former CEO of Capital Health, in which uh, she acknowledges that the uh, payment uh, in question, referred to by the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, uh, was made in error, was a mistake. She has uh, apologized for the mistake, uh, she has provided an explanation, and she has repaid the money to the Government of Alberta and the people of Alberta. I'm glad she saw fit to use a portion of her $1.5 million severance payment to do the right thing and pay that back. Mr. Speaker, the former CEO of Capital Health sent one of her VPs out of the country for special treatment, signed off on the expense so that it would be covered by Alberta taxpayers, bypassed the process that other Albertans have to follow. That is queue jumping. Even though she has paid it back, that same CEO testified before the Vertes inquiry and never even mentioned it. Why doesn't the Premier reopen the inquiry to see if there are any other cases we should be worried about? Honourable uh, Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the inquiry into improper preferential access is still, is still ongoing. And uh, as we've discussed in the past, Mr. Speaker, it is not the business of the Minister of Health, or I would say any elected member of this Assembly, to tell the Commissioner for that inquiry where he should and should not look. The inquiry is, is open, Mr. Speaker. An extension has been provided until the end of August, and we have every confidence that Justice Verdes will thoroughly investigate any matter he deems relevant. Probably. invited us to give him suggestions, and we intend to do that. The Premier told the Assembly yesterday that she ran for office so she could make changes in the way government operates. Well, Mr. Speaker, so far we haven't seen any evidence of any changes to the culture of entitlement that pervades that 42-year-old operation. I ask again, if she won't agree to get to the truth through the Vertes inquiry, how about a forensic audit into all of the expenses of the health regions going back to the Morali era? Mr. Speaker, I think we've established in this House on many occasions uh, that there is a process available under the Freedom of Information, Privacy and Protection Act to access that information. And Mr. Speaker, while I don't have details of any of the information, I would be very surprised if it was not the case that all of the expense claims that the Honourable Member refers to over, I don't know how many years she's talking about today, uh, have in fact been requested through that process. Mr. Speaker, what I did do earlier today is, uh, is I did uh, have a conversation and subsequently wrote to the former Chief Justice of the Court of Queen's Bench, Dr. Uh, uh, Chief Justice uh, Alan Wachowicz, and I've asked for his assistance in looking at avenues to pursue. Questions. 